Honestly, one of the biggest questions I get all the time is, Spice, how did you do 25 years with that man? How did you say, yeah, I want to do 25 years with that man? And that's just the thing. I never said that, nor did I ever believe we would do it. He was sentenced to 26 years, but we still never thought we'd ever do anything close to that. He ended up doing 22 years, but after that, it was still like, no way. There's no way we're going to do 22 years because I remember when he first went in thinking, I will be 40 years old when he gets out of prison. I couldn't imagine that. And then here we are. So to ask how I got through it, well, like I said, I didn't sign on for the 22 years. I signed up to support my friend and I knew he was innocent. So when his conviction came back, I was shocked just like everybody else was. But we knew we could appeal and then we thought, okay, let's fight. We got to fight to get out. We were told that first appeal would probably take about two years. And so that's what we buckled in to do. It wasn't until that one fell through that we realized we'd have to file another one. But even with that, it was like, okay, one more year. So one year turned into, okay, three years max. Okay, five years max. And then that just continued and continued and continued. And we lost and lost and lost. So there was a lot of hopelessness. But I can't tell you that I ever said, yeah, we're about to do all this time. My belief in him and his innocence was what gave me hope to believe that this was going to be something that we would overcome. And we did overcome it, not the way we thought, but we did. And here we are. Pookie has been home and thank God we have been thriving. But what y'all don't know is prison has really put down a number on us. We have been struggling in silence because we don't understand all the things that we are going through all the time. A lot of trauma, a lot of PTSD, a lot of sorrow, a lot of hurts, a lot of things that are coming up that we did not deal with or didn't even know we should have been dealing with. But this is where we are. Definitely God and therapy have been the saving grace. So we are plugging through one day at a time, trying to relearn each other, we learn how to love each other, but one thing we will not do is ever give up on each other.